The LGBT community has some strong words for a Catholic directive out this weekend with suggestions on how priests should handle funerals for gay people. Some are calling those suggestions discriminatory and against the grain of what Christian values are supposed to represent. Our Leah Linscheid has more on the response to this document. Leah? Yeah, this is a confidential document sent to priests in the Madison area and also obtained by News 3. It offers suggestions to, quote, minimize scandal when it comes to holding those funerals for same-sex relationships. Upon seeing it, members of the LGBT community say it's hypocritical. Thinking about how stressful that would be for a family. Steve Starkey didn't grow up as a Catholic. And, you know, that maybe had been part of the church for a long time and were grieving over the loss of, of their loved one. But he can imagine the pain that would come along with being denied funeral rites because of sexual orientation. And then have the church say, we're not going to do the service or we will only do an abbreviated service. It seems very discriminatory. His thoughts come as the Madison Diocese released a document detailing how area priests should handle gay funerals. A couple of its suggestions to churches, any surviving partner shouldn't have a prominent role in the ceremony. It also asks the priest to consider whether the deceased gave any signs of repentance before death or whether funeral rites need to have a mass at all. The diocese declined an interview and instead issued a statement saying while it's not an official policy, it does meet Bishop Robert Morlino's approval. Pope Francis was asked about, uh, about this issue with gay people. Steve resorts to the words of a man whose teachings he doesn't know well. And he said, I believe that the church must not only say it's sorry to this person that is gay, uh, that gay people should be welcomed and treated equally. Steve thinks maybe he, what the catechism says, once a catechism. Christian, never a Catholic, has some words of wisdom for those trying to live a righteous life. Teachings of Jesus were to be inclusive, to love everyone. You know, this this directive seems to to kind of fly in the face of that. Now again, the church said its statement would be the only public comment on the issue and that these considerations came about in the first place because priests were asking how to handle these funerals, Eric. Leah Linscheid in our news center. Leah, thank you.